Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Miami Dolphins. toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. First carry for the second year, man. It's Najee Harris. It's a room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Nothing too fancy there. A simple toss left, but for whatever reason, the defense, they didn't seem ready for it. Let me continue on with your thought right there, because after the play was over, I kept my eyes on the defenders. Watch them get off the ground, going back to the huddle, shaking their heads and kind of pointing to each other like, what just happened there? I think you were onto something. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It was Raekwon Davis with the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Pick it a look to throw it here. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Jalen Phillips make that now eight sacks for him on the season. A week ago, they dominated in the trenches. They got in the backfield for five sacks. Setting the tone there, one on the opening drive. And it sets the tone for the opposing team, doesn't it? Remember when you were a kid and you went to the theater and saw that horror movie and it stuck with you for a while and you were a little bit jumpy? But if you saw five sacks the previous week and you're the quarterback, he might be a little jumpy as well. Might throw off his timing. Yeah, it'd be jumpy, but I'm uh, sorry. Bob and Linda wouldn't let me see a PG movie until I was 17. Well, that's just good parenting. Mm -hmm. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Go on, go on. 
on play action. Rodgers. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A single four and take it. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Call that a very strong gain of 24. So they still get the completion even though the blitz was on. But the blitz got there. Does that stay in the mind of the quarterback the next couple plays? That's what you're hoping for. That's what you're planning for. Yeah, it's a little risk-reward, right? You're leaving your guys on an island back there in man coverage. But you take the chance that you get to the quarterback and say, oh, he gets completion here. Congratulations. Keep coming at it. And hopefully it pays off by the end of the game that you're starting to get to him while still able to cover on the back end. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. Well, that's a lot. That's a mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try to cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like back. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. Little swing complete to Jalen Waddle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now a play fake. Rodgers. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 14 to nothing. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can...
Hey, check it. Okay, I feel unstoppable. Losing's impossible. Go against the team, the thing they know not to do. Bright lights, game on the line, do what I gotta do. Time after time, we do the impossible. You ain't made it till you got salads. Go out and shop for you. You ain't made it till they put on top of you. Parading through the city, the whole block come out for you. We just getting started, y'all finna see what we bout to do. Boy, stop, you ain't here, I'm the real truth. Hunters, real blues, trips on them. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Miami Dolphins. point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. Taking it at about the 1. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Right off the bat, here's Pickett to throw it. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Pickett now on first down. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring him second down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or three or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Pick it. Back to throw. Fires the out route and completes it to Harris. On the move past the 40. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. A big play there on the catch and run. And it'll move the chains. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 30-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Being chased out left. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions. Can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? Hey. 
So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And that one drops down incomplete. Coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. On play action, now Rodgers. Finding Waddle crossing the field and bringing it in. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw is caught here by Anderson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The Dolphins at two and four here in the first half of the year. And they come in losers at two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. And again, it's Rodgers. That's out to the flat for Ingram. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Well, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 
A good pick up there, 22. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Rodgers. This will be caught inside the 10. Touchdown! Jalen Waddle is 11th touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. This is a crew, they've come out flat their last two games, both losses, but just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because you know, you, you've you been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere, but you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. You know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7-0. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And I don't quite know what's happening here. It's a first down, but the field goal team is out onto the field. And as is to be expected, this is nowhere near being good from that distance. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Well, partner, this is where I need the color commentator. I'm not sure what to say about that one. Yeah, you and me both, my man. Let's just let that one go and move on. Deal. So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. Rodgers now to throw. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive. But some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. 
First down, and they go back to Harris. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Pick it now from the gun here. It's brought in by Harris. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Now pick it on fourth down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have the Steelers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To the air on first down with Pickett. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Pick it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. This guy's been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Boswell's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On play action, it's Rodgers. And going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. 
There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. They fake the give. Now Rodgers sliding out of the pocket. And he just gets rid of it and throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. His throw incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got 9. Fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Just a gain of 3, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one, he ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Touchdown, Dolphins! Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is up to 18 now. Kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ball game. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touch. Pickett lost it. And while all of that was going on, we have an injured player out there in need of some attention. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 68 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. First throw now for the backup, Trubisky. Completes this one to Pickens. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. From the 29, Trubisky flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The Steelers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a first down following a gain of three. 
And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On second and 11 now, Trubisky. That swung out wide to Harris. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Facing this big first-half deficit, they keep the field goal unit on the sideline. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. He's got a man complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. T.J. Watt, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Traditionally, as a defense, your number one job, stop the run. But in today's football, it's impacting the opposing quarterback. Make him uncomfortable. And so far, they've not been able to do that. Not at all. He's been really comfortable in the pocket. Three touchdown passes already. So that could be an important first sack if they do want to turn things around. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught inside the five. Touchdown! Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Dolphins continue to pull away here this first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the route is on here in this first half. now to kick it away after the touchdown. <laughs> the Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 30 on second down, Trubisky. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to... All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Now a play fake. Rodgers. There goes a deep ball in zone. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Sanders now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Take it in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, hey, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws. No rhythm throwing the football. And obviously, no touchdown scored in this game. Watch out for Hill on the return. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Out route to Hill complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rodgers now on first down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Rodgers will try again on second down. Open net is Waddle complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down, and he's also over 190 receiving yards now. What a game. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. On first down, Rodgers. Another catch there for Waddle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And again, it's Rodgers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Throwing again on second and ten. Rodgers gets this one to Hill. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 24-yard line. Rodgers tapping this forward on the jet sweep. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Rodgers again now. And his throw is incomplete. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? They'll swing this out to Mostert. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Rodgers now to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Dolphins extend their lead yet again. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Let's take it in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15.
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. So just three yards on the completion there. And third and eight now. Looking to throw, pick it. Here's Fryer Muth again. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. First and ten, here's Pickett. Rolling to his left. Throw left side complete. That's Harris. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. On second down, this is Harris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. On first and 10, it's Pickett. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Pick it back to the air on second down. Fires the out route and completes it to Harris. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three times and eight chances. Here it's third and two. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 21. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw, pick it. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. second down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. Second down and goal. Pick it. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Pat Fryermuth, a 
nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Berrios now from his end zone. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they... And that's caught inside the 30. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. It's the ex-Dolphin, Minka Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick, a little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. has a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. On the ground, it's Harris. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From just shy of midfield, Pickett, slant round, and he's got fire move. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 37. Off play action, pick it. He gets it complete to Harris. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that will bring up second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Throwing again on second down. Pick it. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Pick it. He's going to throw it again. He sets to fire deep. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
They're in control here as they start first and ten and appearing to have righted the ship following that two-game losing streak. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Found his target. It's Anderson. And he is finally forced out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 49 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Sanders on for the extra point. I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third. He's got a man complete. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win him the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. The extra point is good, but it only impacts the final score as this game comes to a close. 